a number of you may well be vegetarian and wonder how would that fit in uh, with being uh, on a low carb diet and it's something I'm asked about often. Many of my patients uh, manage a vegetarian diet and are low carb. Some of the problems may be around sources of protein, but of course you've still got eggs, cheese, dairy products are fine and very healthy. Um, one of the best sources I've found for really tasty uh, vegetarian recipes is actually Indian cooking. Because for many years being vegetarian in India is a, is a norm and they've got wonderful uh, ways of cooking to produce actually quite cheap food that's really tasty and very, very healthy. So I don't really see why being a vegetarian should be any kind of a problem uh, for a low carb diet. A variant of that might be a, a vegan diet. Um, this is very important to many people and it's again possible but slightly harder. And for many people or probably most people you might need some supplementation because uh, some of the vitamins are difficult to access and uh, that's a slightly more specialist thing being vegan uh, on a low carb diet but there are people who do it but you probably would have to have a slightly more open mind to supplementation of some of the vitamins. Just looking at for a moment um, the idea of a vegetarian diet and the low carb diet. The principles are broadly the same, we're trying to cut out sugar but we're looking particularly at vegetables in terms of the starch content. So um, above ground green veg is one way to think of this. Or another one is whatever was white on your plate before, perhaps rice or potatoes, turn it green. Uh, a quick way to think about this. So principles very similar, but some of the specifics where you're really thinking about which vegetables have a low glycemic index. And in general, they're the green ones, but there's the red ones like red peppers, all sorts of other tasty things. Aubergines are not white also very low glycemic index. So perfectly possible, very tasty food, easy to do. Uh, thinking about the potential sources of protein in, um, in a low carb diet, obviously you've, you've got your dairy products, uh, cheese would, uh, would be a good one, milk, things like that. Um, pulses. Pulses on the whole have a medium glycemic index and um, for that reason you have to be possibly aware of, of portion control, but they can be a really useful thing. A, a good hint would be in Indian cooking, for instance, you could use gram flour instead of ordinary flour for making chapatis, and gram flour's got more protein in. So it's something of a win-win really, because that's less sugar, more protein.